the Lao 190mm Ultra Macro paired with the Canon R7 is such a killer combo for extreme macro. I've been using this setup the last couple of weeks and spent several hours every single day out in the field and I'd like to show you a bunch of images just to showcase the excellent image quality of this lens. This lens is super sharp, especially stepped down to f5.6 all the way up to f11. I've been using f11 as my go-to aperture because it provides you with enough depth of field while maintaining excellent sharp across the image. I also took a couple of test shots at the narrowest aperture of f22. Due to diffraction though, the sharpness suffers greatly, so I would not recommend using it at f22. There's virtually no vignetting due to the apochromatic design. The spherical and chromatic aberration is very well controlled. I haven't noticed any color fringing whatsoever. I also use this lens at the telephoto end and the bokeh is very creamy, looks pleasing. Anyway, let's jump into Photoshop and have a closer look at this compilation. Let's have a look at some B shots first. I took this one a couple days ago and let's zoom into 100% and you can see how much detail we have here on this little honeybee's face. The only editing that I've done to all of these images was just uh, increased textural detail bit of selective sharpening by the use of the high pass filter in Photoshop, a little bit of um, color adjustment, just increased um, vibrance and saturation a little bit and added some noise reduction where needed. So very minor editing overall. Alrighty, next image. This is a wider angle shot. White was uh, resting on this beautiful flower. Unfortunately the sun was uh, creating these uh, relatively unpleasing uh, looking uh, specular highlights but I couldn't uh, shade it from the sunlight. I had to take this shot uh, from this angle. You can see how much uh, pollen it has all over its body. It's crazy. Looks super cool. Once again really sharp Next image, this was taken at 2x magnification, the maximum magnification. It was moving around quite a bit, so I had to use higher shutter speed. At 300% you can see the individual cells of its uh, compendi. Unreal. Really beautiful. And look at all those hairs, bristle-like hairs on the side of its leg. Wow. Amazing. We've got another B shot here. Another frontal portrait. 100%. Look at the iridescence, the refraction and the diffraction of light from that angle. Creating those beautiful colors of the rainbow. Wow. I'm still just blown away by the level of detail, even at 2x magnification. I had been using the Canon ATD up until a couple weeks ago when I purchased the R7, and the change in quality is significant, I'd say. All right, let's go to the next subject, which is a fly. Let's zoom into 100%. I tried to focus on its eye. It kept uh, preening itself. The proboscis is fully retracted now and uh, even though not the entire body is in focus there's still a decent uh, amount of its body sharp so especially these massive hairs protruding from its um, thorax all right let's go to the next one this is a shield bug up to 100 percent magnification managed to focus on the eye once again. This was rather large, so I'm not sure if it was a 2x magnification, I'd say it was uh, at 1.5x or so. Can't recall. I think I've got another image of this specimen. There is another one. Probably should have upped the exposure a little bit more for this one. And uh, other parts of the body were in focus as it was about to turn away and then eventually took off from this leaf. 100% again. 
it resolves tremendous amount of detail at 32 and a half megapixels alrighty what's this one another fly it was a relatively small specimen once again the compound eye it just looks unreal really cool beautiful I had to um, lower the flash output because sometimes certain subjects reflect light much more so you have to be aware of that and just balance the light the ambient light plus the flash and make sure that you don't blow out any highlights here I did not manage to focus perfectly I wish the focus had been on the front pad of its uh, eye this crane fly was massive the reason why I decided to um, keep this um, frame is because of the beautiful background I really love the green colors the green hues and the way I managed to compose it usually their legs are all over the place and can look uh, a little bit weird at times I've got another shot coming up at higher magnification where the focus was better this one was a slender ring tail and as you can see most of its body is in perfect uh, focus really sharp let's zoom in a little bit more to 100 percent so amazing these veins on its um, wings colorful gorgeous the micro contrast is exceptional as well i mean look at all these beautiful hues and the iridescent colors right over there and that massive bulbous eye unbelievable i mean you can see the individual hairs sticking out of its head as well gorgeous absolutely stunning this was at the 2x magnification i think or very very close to it and you can see that uh, iridescent section of its uh, thorax from closer plenty of detail and zoom into 100 percent and it's so hard to focus on the eye or the front part of the eye the depth of field is so shallow this one was pretty uh, damn good because the math part was uh, sharp as well beautiful alrighty next one uh, I can't remember what kind of lava uh, this one was I think it was a um, let me have a look at the uh, eye naturalist where I tend to identify all of my species leaf beetle lava yeah that's correct and uh, they absolutely annihilate leaves of uh, eucalypts let's zoom in so you can see a little bit more detail at 100 percent i wish i had been able to focus on the eye which is right there we are at 200 percent back up to 100 percent looks unreal all right let's go to the next one oh i absolutely love this shot i kept taking shot after shot because uh, they kept moving around and uh, also the sunlight was really really harsh and I tried to uh, shield these two little orb weavers to create even lighting a more even lighting and uh, after about five to ten minutes they lined up just like this and they stay still and I managed to grab two shots let's zoom in to 100% I believe this one was the uh, male and you can see this section is a bit uh, blown out unfortunately it is extremely hard to nail the uh, exposure because um, they've got these white uh, CT and the part of the abdomen uh, have certain patterns that are white as well but you also want to have plenty of detail in the shadows or the other side of the uh, body and this one was the female with a much larger abdomen let's go to the next one yeah this is the second shot of this mini series this is a little bit um, closer or I actually changed the uh, uh, angle I like shooting uh, using uh, diagonal lines just add to the image in terms of uh, dynamism again the sharpness is unbelievable just unreal so much detail beautiful colors 
really happy with it. I think this one was an orb weaver as well, and it was moving around quite a bit up and down its web. It was actually casting um, spider silk as well, and I was trying to capture it. It took me at least 15 minutes until it stayed still for a mere moment, and then I managed to grab this shot while it was balancing itself. This is at 100%. You can see that the eye is in perfect focus there. Uh, this was a long broad-headed bug that actually ended up on my pants. You can see the little fibers. Let's have a look at the eyes. Simple eyes and then the compound eyes. Very nice. This is a hoverfly a half bend, I believe. And this is one of my best shots of this species in a single shot. I'm just super happy. This is at 200%. Let's go back a little bit. I'm super happy with this shot overall. The sharpness is unbelievable. So much detail in the entire body. I kind of like the um, low-key uh, uh, look as well. The black dark background makes it stand out even more. And I believe I have another shot of this. Yeah, right there. Just from a slightly different angle, you can see a little bit more detail in this section of the uh, body and in the uh, wings. This is why it's called half band. You can see black and yellow, black and yellow. I just realized the iridescence right here. Beautiful metallic sheen and that uh, massive compound eye. Unreal. I really want to capture decent shot um, at high magnification or relatively high magnification just trying to fill the frame of one of these mid-flight that would be awesome. This is a female bronze hopper and once again this one was taken at 2x magnification or very close to it. Let's move closer. This is at 100% and look at those CT, the tiny little hairs covering those bulbous eyes. Unbelievable. I love jumping spiders. Amazing. Tremendous amount of detail. Next one. So this is the same specimen and you can see it from a better angle. I absolutely love shooting jumping spiders, especially with perfect eye contact. They look so cool. You can see plenty of detail in the um, pedipalps as well. The fangs are right there. This is an Eastern Bush Orb Weaver and this one was taken at, I'd say, 1x magnification or around that, maybe a little bit more, 1.2x. And um, it was a little bit windy that day and couldn't stack any uh, images of this particular specimen. I wish I had been able to and then get the spinneret and the this section of the abdomen sharp as well. But the parts that I managed to focus on, I mean, you can see the individual hairs. This is at 300%. They look fascinating. Beautiful. We are halfway. Okay, okay. I believe this was the exact same specimen, just at higher magnification. You can see a half digested or semi digested liquefied victim that it's hanging on to with its uh, fangs and pedipalps. Wow, unbelievable. And here, from this angle you can see the spinnerets much better. This is 200%. This is another bronze upper, but this one is a male. I really love these spiders. They look so cute. I actually did not nail the focus on this one, I believe. Yeah, I think the focus was a little bit uh, to the front, but it's still pretty decent. I like the eye contact. And here I think the focus was a bit better, 100%. Yeah, this section, as you can see, the back eye is already slightly out of focus. Depth of field is super shallow once again. What a beautiful little specimen, cutie. Next one, another frontal portrait. I think the focus was better here. Yeah, it was. Definitely a bit better. I like the symmetry in this one. Here is a plant hopper. Let's zoom into 100%. The 
these quirky little structures and organs that they have on their head besides the eye there must be sensory organs that they use I really love these bristles that they uh, sometimes um, uh, display in a vertical position next one this is a rainbow ant I think that was actually milking honeydew from um, plant hoppers, gum tree hoppers 100% was moving around a fair bit so I had to use higher shutter speed and also high speed sync on the flash and even then you can see a bit of ghosting so I should have used higher shutter speed next one oh my god I love these little fellas this is a beautiful weevil and I was super happy because I managed to nail the focus right on the eyes as it was facing me this is a 200% let's get back to 100% I mean look at the sharpness and the textural detail right there wow unbelievable I think I have a couple more shots of this yeah this is at lower magnification and uh, these other two specimens were nearby I really love the framing of this shot beautiful colors in the background I really love this little flower that they were resting on let's zoom in a little bit to 100% again the sharpness is stunning plenty of detail here in the entire head and these long snouts and this one is relatively sharp as well I love the way it's piggybacking on the large one beautiful next one and this was at higher magnification let's zoom in to 100% and wow it's just unbelievable the amount of detail and the beautiful colors I can't believe how good this looks so much better than my Canon ATD so I'm super happy that I decided to switch to the R7 and the Laowa 90mm has not disappointed at all look at these scales let's zoom in a little bit more they're at 200% I mean look at these individual scales unbelievable just crazy cool amazing all right we've got about a dozen shots left this is a crab spider 100% I tried to stack this shot but it was just windy once again and when I tried to hold the leaf or this blade of grass that it was resting on it just kept uh, moving so this is the only frame that I was happy with all right next one this is another ore beaver very similar to the one where I captured both the female and the male 100% zoom you can see this zigzag pattern on its abdomen and plenty of detail on those individual tiny hairs I really like the way I managed to compose this shot super simple very minimalistic I like the negative space at the bottom and the diagonal line once again so here we have another fly species what kind of fly is this? Just let me check. One sec. Genus Ostrotephthritis. Really love the colors of its compound eye and the unique uh, patterns on its wings. Really, really funky looking, quirky looking uh, little fly. It was relatively small, I'd say uh, less than a centimeter, about eight millimeter. Couple more shots here of a large orb weaver species single shot once again you can see at 200 percent those fangs wow they look quite menacing you wouldn't want to mess with those fangs all right another bronze hopper female 100 percent you can see tech sharp right around the eye super happy with this shot in terms of sharpness unfortunately there was a blade of grass or part of the vegetation in front of it but I still decided to keep it here's another jumping spider this is a um, bronze hopper once again but a male from a wider angle so you can see how large and long those legs are it was resting on this little leaf 
let's zoom in to 100% and what I find fascinating is look at those colorful I'm not sure are those reflections or part of its eye or, or the iris itself has that iridescence I think I think within the eye you can see those beautiful blue colors unbelievable wow this is actually the first time or maybe the second time I've seen such but this is the most uh, conspicuous next image this is another crab spider I tried to shoot through vegetation it was crawling all over the place 100% managed to focus on this uh, eye the closest eye this is a relatively small species as well around the centimeter at maximum and I believe I have another shot of this species yes from a higher oblique angle and uh, the sharpness is really really decent at 100% I wish these front eyes had been a little bit sharper looks nice uh, okay okay four more shots of these single frames another shot of a slender ring tail beautiful damselfly unbelievably gorgeous almost the entire specimen is in uh, focus the wings are slightly out of focus let's zoom into 300 percent i mean you can see just crazy detailed beautiful next one this one was taken at i'd say one and a half 1.4x magnification and you can see it's much more detail in this section looks so interesting just such a unique species i mean look at that the way those wings are attached unreal love the colors and as i said before the contrast is just really really decent this is a beautiful orb weaver i managed to get a stacked shot of this particular species and i'll be showing you very soon that one i'm super proud of that one so it's crazy how much uh, spider web is right there and another shot just from a different angle it was moving around a fair bit 100 percent spinnerets in focus the ventral part of its prothorax and wow i mean look at those fangs unbelievable oh crazy beautiful but at the same time a little bit scary and then we've got one more shot left of a crane fly super high detailed at maximum magnification 100 percent managed to focus right on the eye this elongated head is so weird and all those weird looking uh, mouth parts so much detail beautiful i think we've covered all the individual frames all right these last few shots that i'm about to show you are all stacked shots this particular image contains seven individual frames of another orb weaver species look at the size of its abdomen unbelievable it's enormous in relation to the size of its head crazy it's not a perfect stack i wish i had been able to take more images of the legs but it kept moving around and then once i tried to align those extra images they just didn't work as you can see this section was out of focus as well beautiful beautiful species all right next one another bronze hopper female bronze hopper this one has six images and i really love the eye contact once again we can see so much detail in those hairs larger hairs on those legs beautiful all right this is another image of that uh, lava that i showed you earlier and here you can see more detail in the eyes and the entire body just looks really really interesting 
I believe it was uh, putting on a thread display. As I was getting close to it, it was becoming a little bit defensive. This one contains only three shots. Our second last shot is of another orb weaver. I captured this image today and unfortunately I missed this section so it's not as sharp as I wanted it to be but the rest of the image is still pretty decent. I managed to maintain plenty of detail in these highlights which tend to get blown out as I said before really easily. You can see all those tiny little individual CT covering almost the entire body of this beauty. And I'm super happy with the last image, which is coming up next. Really love the composition, really love this beautiful, colorful vegetation on the left side. All right, let's zoom in and have a look at all that detail. Wow, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Is anyone up for counting all those individual hairs? Be my guest. You can see those claws that they use to hang on to the spider web. Unbelievable. Just crazy. At 200% you can see that individual strand of seal coming out of its spinnerets. There are six spinnerets, I think, maybe five, I don't know. I'm just blown away. This is one of my favorite shots. Definitely my best stack shot with this setup. Absolutely stunning. All right, I should wrap this up now. If you've been considering purchasing a macro lens that is versatile, capable of shooting up to 2x, and can also focus towards infinity, then I can highly recommend this lens to you. Down the track, I'll be doing a full long-term review of this lens, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and catch you all very soon in the next one.